Hey everybody, it's Eric from Eric's Adventures and today's video we will be installing a rear differential breather extension. So what this will do is it will extend the normal breather valve that is on the rear differential and I will route it up through the uh, gas cap. I'm installing this diff breather because if you go through any water that gets above your rear axle it can get inside and completely ruin your rear diff and just better safe than sorry for 20 bucks. So I got this kit online uh, I will link it below I'm forgetting the name but it comes with everything it comes uh, with the breather section here already installed that goes up by your gas cap or behind your tail light um, it comes with a new fitting for the differential and a hose clamp to mount this end to the fitting so first thing I'm going to do is get underneath and remove the one that's already on the rear diff. Okay, now uh, to get this hose through the uh, gas cap, there's a rubber piece. Use like a non-marring tool and open it up like this. And then you can stick the hose in here and route it. this. Now that that's in, just kind of uh, shove the hose through and then you'll go underneath and pull the rest of it through. I've got the diff breather through here. Here's the hose. I will route it up along the frame rail along here and then down to where the diff breather is going to connect on the axle. Here underneath the rear end and this is the diff breather right here. So this is a 14 millimeter. You can use an, a wrench or a deep socket. And mine's a little bit crusty, so we'll see how easy it is to take out. But it's here on the left side of the pumpkin. And then uh, once I remove that, I'll be installing the new one. I used some penetrating oil, cleaned up the surface, and hammered the socket on, and now it's coming off. Now that the hose is all the way through, you can unscrew this from the dip, take your new one. This is going to be a, take your new one, this is going to be a 10 millimeter, and screw it in, don't cross thread it, and just, yeah, and then I've got a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench that I'm going to use tighten the dip. There's no torque spec on this, so I just use some German torque, good and tight, and just make sure pretty much it's flush, nothing's gonna get in there. The last thing to do is put the hose clamp on, push it down all the way, and tighten up the hose clamp. Down, just tighten down this hose clamp all the way. Make sure it's tight. And then you will have some extra hose. I'm gonna just use some zip ties and, uh, tie it up especially up here to the existing fuel line and just make sure it's away from the spring but it has enough slack so when it does articulate it does not uh kind of get too short and fuel door break. i've got this nicely tucked away got no issue with closing it and i can open up my fuel filler fill up and then put this back in close it with no issues so there we go, install is done. I've got it all wrapped up. So clamp is tightened. I've got a zip tie up here where the fuel line is. I've got another one up here. And then I've got a third one right up here. So there's enough slack so it's not gonna get overstretched. But then there's also like four or five inches to the exhaust pipe. So this should be good. If I find that this is too much, I can always cut this down and make it a little shorter. So. If you like this video, if you found it interesting and want to see more, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and see you next time.